Hey folks, I am at a legendary Texas truck stop called Bucky's, and uh, this is the world's largest truck stop, and uh, they have the largest bathrooms for men and for women. You can see the store is really huge. It's probably maybe the size of half a Costco to give you an idea of the scale. They have a lot of gas pumps and uh, this is just the store part where you can get food, shop for groceries and pretty much buy anything you want so that you can be happy on the road. This is a Texas institution. I think it's only found in the state of Texas. If you guys ever visit America, you visit Texas, you got to come check out Bucky's because it is definitely a uh, destination truck stop and I counted a uh, lots and lots of bathrooms and uh, stalls. I'm gonna get some food, get on the road, and uh, take a little tour of this little wonderful legendary Texas truck stop. pouring outside but I just at least wanted to show you how big this place is in terms of the gasoline fill up stations so you can see it's huge area here many many different places for you to gas up and the parking lot is about the size of a Costco parking lot with cars going around the building and the Bucky's area here is about half of the Costco I think that seems to be about the size all right heading back to the car it's pouring cats and dogs glad I'm leaving Texas on a Sunday we got all the barbecue stuff taken care of and uh, one last stop for lunch at Bucky's before heading to DW Airport. In case you're wondering, all the people who are writing to me, why are we wearing masks? This is Texas, we're still wearing masks. And uh, it's uh, the middle of uh, May and uh, we are not out of the woods yet. Of course, it's pouring rain. Uh, I haven't felt rain in about maybe two years living in California. Uh, we don't know what rain feels like. So it's really good to be out in the rain getting wet, feeling that chill of the pellets of rain, driven like driven nails. We're back in the car and it's pouring rain and uh, it's uh, really, really a wet day. You guys must be wondering, did I just hear Harry say that he is driving to Dallas-Fort Worth while he was cook eating barbecue in Austin? Why is he making a four or five hour drive to Dallas? That's because I couldn't find any rental cars left in Austin to rent. The closest airport that still had rental cars was DFW, so it's a four-hour drive to DFW, but that was the only way I could uh, take time off from work to head down to Texas to eat some wonderful barbecue. And uh, I wanted to rent a car, but in, even in San Antonio, they wanted to rent me a car for $1,600 for four days. I didn't just wanted to rent a car, I didn't want to buy it. So here I am driving back to Dallas to catch my flight home to Los Angeles. Hope you guys like all the footage I'm going to show you on my travel adventure and barbecue crawl in Texas and uh, this bonus reel about Bucky's. Life in Texas is different. It's actually amazing. Can't wait to be back. I'm a Red Raider at heart. Sandwiches at Bucky's for $6. Not a bad deal. Getting a drink and some uh, chips. All set for having a lunch in the car amid a pouring Texas rainstorm, thunderstorm right here. I'm gonna do a uh, taste test right in the middle of a Texas thunderstorm here in the car. This is the uh, chopped brisket sandwich. Kind of looks like a sloppy joe. And this one is the uh, sliced sausage sandwich. Put the lid on, give everything a bite here. Okay, let's try the sausage one first. Wow, it's really good. I'm very surprised. Just a great sliced sausage sandwich. The sauce is slightly sweet, very savory, delicious. Okay, so sitting in a parking lot in the middle of a rainstorm at the Bucky's, eating a Bucky's sliced sausage sandwich. Thumbs up from Harry Sue. Here's a chopped brisket sandwich. Get a shot here. I'm gonna make a mess of myself. Wow, it is good. Smoky, beefy, has a little bit of a kind of a slightly sweet barbecue sauce. 
very respectable chopped brisket sandwich. So I'm going to eat the rest of my lunch. Thanks for stopping by guys and watching this uh, bonus clip about my little Bucky's trip. A little bit of, bit of Americana for those of you who haven't never traveled to Texas. Hopefully I give you a glimpse of the reason you should come and visit Texas and uh, check out all the wonderful people, traditions and history.